Hey guys, so it is Editing Ruby here, just jumping in to say welcome to the vlog. Um, I also want to say I really stupidly somehow deleted a few clips that were meant to be in this vlog. So if the vlog seems a little bit kind of higgledy-piggledy, that is why. But I still wanted to upload it because it has some really nice content in there. Um, but I just wanted to kind of put that little disclaimer out in case anyone was a little bit confused that sometimes it jumps around a little bit. Um, but yeah it's just stupid on my part but whatever anyway i hope that you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you soon oh, bye hi everybody and welcome back to another vlog so i um haven't done a vlog at home in a little while my last vlogs have been kind of travel vlogs and stuff so i thought it'd be nice to vlog this week so it's a very exciting week actually because my Lavish Alice collection is launching um, so you guys will have seen all of that hopefully by now anyway but if you haven't I'm going to link my YouTube video down below which talks through the whole collection and everything like that so I'm here with a ring light looking all fancy and professional for once because I've just finished filming my um, kind of like lookbook of the collection so it's all over there I'll show you it quickly um, I started filming it at I think I started filming it about 12 and it's now 20 past 5 and that's been like hardcore constant filming um, because I just really wanted to get it perfect and I'm such a perfectionist so I honestly had to refilm clips about a million times because I want to like say everything that I want to say and yeah anyway we're finally finished so thank god for that um, but yeah I'm so excited about the collection so like I said if you don't know about it where have you been um but no you can head over to my instagram or like i said the youtube video to have a little look and i'll also link the collection in the uh, description box as well so um yeah i haven't vlogged since we were away on holiday so we've been back for quite a long time now god it feels like forever ago that we were away but we're back and i have seen family and friends and stuff and been celebrating this little situation <laughs> um been yeah celebrating and everything um started doing a little bit of wedding planning <laughs> um i say a little bit i've just done the tiniest bit i've barely done anything i'm finding it a little bit overwhelming if i'm honest um but it's fine we're going with it um but yeah i thought i would do a little vlog this week um i'm gonna try and vlog the whole week just because I've got quite a lot going on and there's also some fun stuff happening at the house. So we've just had our bathroom finished, which is so exciting. Um, and I have filmed that um, whole kind of renovation process. I'm just waiting for um, a few kind of little accessories like mirrors and stuff to put up there. So that's fun. So I'll show you a little sneak peek of that. Um, also, I've bought some furniture for my office because I'm gonna have a little bit of a rejig around in my office and just make it a better space for like filming. Because obviously we are going into autumn winter now and I really want to like start doing some more kind of lookbooks and hauls and um, styling videos and stuff. And I've really struggled to find a good space to do that in. So I think if I can have a bit of a rejig of my office area, um, then hopefully we should get more videos like that coming soon. Because I know I used to do so much fashion content on here and I think where we moved house... Um, and obviously we were renovating and stuff. I just found it quite difficult to find the space to do it. Um, so yeah, hopefully expect to see much more of that from me. Um, what else have I got on this week? I'm trying to think. Um, do, 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 do. I think I'm gonna go shoot some outfits with my friend in Manchester. Um, it's something that we've sort of started doing recently just so I can get more outfits on Instagram for you guys. Um, so I might do that at some point, but um, I'm not sure. We haven't kind of finalized the date yet um what else have i got planned just kind of being around the house really obviously walking the dog all that kind of thing um bit of a chilled one i'm actually really ready to have a nice chilled week um and weekend because the past few weeks and weekends have just been so manic and busy and i've been drinking far too much which is really unlike me like if you know me i i barely drink to be honest i'm like not a big drinker at all um but somehow i've just managed to drink too much and yeah i'm ready to just relax now so hopefully this vlog will be nice and relaxing anyway um but yeah so if i show you my little collection over here so it's all here looking a little bit of a mess now because obviously I was just getting changed and stuff. So this is your little sneak peek. So if there's anything there that you like the look of, do go and have a look. Um, but I'm gonna obviously hang all that up properly now. And then I might get Sam to bring the new piece of furniture up in here. I'm gonna tidy up a little bit more in here, um, make some dinner and yeah, that's kind of it. I could also have a chat about wedding planning maybe if you guys would be interested in that. Um, I'm gonna move the camera around so it's away from the light. 
uh, from the window like, oh wow, we're just seriously wonky now. There we go, is that better? Yeah, I thought we could have a little chat about wedding planning if you guys are interested in that. I'm actually finding it quite overwhelming, like I said. Um, sorry, it's turning to a bit of a catch up here. Um, finding it a little bit overwhelming. I think coronavirus obviously isn't helping the situation. I find I just feel a little bit anxious about planning things in the current climate, which I think is obviously understandable. Um, like we don't know how long this is gonna go on for and stuff. We'd like to get married abroad as well. Um, so in terms of looking at venues and stuff, it's a little bit difficult because um, Obviously there's been a kind of big spike in cases across Europe, so yeah, that's a little bit difficult, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. I'm not like stressing too much. We have quite a lot of time, but yeah. I'm not one of those people that has kind of planned their wedding for years and years and years. You know how like a lot of girls will know exactly what they want from the age of like 13. I've never really been like that, um, but I wish I was like that because I think it would have made it a lot easier now. Like. I don't know, like I'm even looking at wedding dresses and being like, oh, I don't think I really like that. Or I, I, there's not really any that are really standing out to me, but hopefully when I go and try it on, it will. But at the moment when you try on wedding dresses and stuff, you have to wear masks. Um, and I think you're only allowed one person with you. I think it depends on the different boutiques and stuff, but I kind of want to just wait a little bit and see if things kind of settle, although they probably won't, we'll see. Um, but if any of you guys have got married, or are getting married, please leave your top tips down below and let me know. Um, just any advice, because it would be very much appreciated. Um, but yeah, I am using the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter, no, what's it called? Airbrush Foundation today, and it has made my skin look so, so nice. Sorry, my lip gloss probably needs topping up, but it's honestly made my skin look so nice. Oh, and also, while I'm here, loads of people have been asking me about my eyebrows. So let me get the product, hang on, hang on. So this is what I've been using on my eyebrows. It's, it's from Collection 2000. It was literally like two pounds, um, but it's the best brow gel ever. I think it's actually a clear mascara. Yeah, it is. All day wear color mascara. So it's a mascara, but I've been using it on my eyebrows and I put this on at like 10 this morning and they are still standing up like that, which, never happens with a brow gel, they always go down. Um, so I thought I'd talk about it because I get quite a lot of questions asking me about it. My face is looking rather shiny and that's because I'm in front of a ring light. Um, and also the iconic drops as well. But look at that. Like it looks like I've had my brows laminated. I love it, so cool. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna tidy all this up now and um, yeah, bring that piece of furniture up and then we'll have another chat actually feels so so good to be back vlogging I feel in a really good mood just because i'm chatting to you it's so nice um but yeah okay i'm going now bye <laughs> So this is my new cabinet here. Hang on, let me turn a light on in here. It's a little bit dark. This is my cabinet here. God, this light's really weird because it's like an orangey light. Um, but I really, really wanted some more storage in here, basically. I mean, it's ASOS parcels, but um, let me just put the lid on this. <laughs> I really wanted some more storage in this room because I have obviously like a lot of beauty products and stuff like that, but I also keep all my um sort of camera and tech equipment and stuff so i thought this would be perfect it's from a brand called do you know what i can't even remember the brand says libra but i think i bought it off a website that began with an a i can't remember i'll link it down below it was like 300 pounds um, and it just fits perfectly under this space and it goes quite well with the kind of kind of like scandy vibe um, and this kind of cane webbing so in at the moment um so yeah now I need to fill it up, which is going to be fun, so you guys can watch me do that. Sorry to change the topic from what we were last talking about, but I was just tidying up to put the unit, like, put stuff in there. Um, and I found a bridesmaid card, so I thought I'd show you these, because these are so cute. Um, so I am obviously asking some of my friends to be my bridesmaids, which is so exciting. Um, yeah, I've actually already asked two of them, um, because unfortunately with coronavirus, like, we're just not going to be able to all get together at once, so anyway. These are the cards here. 
I hope I've asked her before um, this vlog goes live. I think I will have. Um, but yeah, they're so cute. They're from Etsy. Um, they're from a brand called, sorry, the ring light's gonna make it really annoying, Nully Press. So I got that, which I thought was super cute. And then, so I can actually insert some footage after this of me um, asking one of my bridesmaids and also the, the kind of hamper boxing that I used when I asked them. So I made a box. Um, actually, I might have one. Hang on, two seconds. Let me find it. Okay, sorry, we've really gone off piece here, but um, I've got it here, so I thought I might as well show you. Um, so I gave them all this box, um, which has their names on them, um, and then I haven't kind of finished doing it yet. But when you open it, it says, will you be my bridesmaid? Um, and then there's some little bits in there that I put in. So I got this little clutch for them all, and I got it personalized with their initials, um, just because I thought this would be really cute, like on a hen do or, at the wedding or something like just with like toiletries in or you could actually use it as a proper clutch this is from the brand katie loxton which do loads of um like wedding related bits and then i also got um some biscuits hang on two seconds so i got these biscuits which are from biscuiteers um, and they're personalized i love biscuiteers biscuits i buy them for like every occasion um get on with filling this cabinet up um so yeah let's go so obviously with my job i do get sent quite a few um beauty products i don't get sent loads and loads like i just get maybe like every now and then but um i wanted to find a better way of storing them so that i could like pull them out and try them when i needed to uh because at the moment i just had them in like a drawer and it was very kind of cramped so i just kind of decided to put them all in this box here and then when I'm like, oh, this moisturizer's run out, let's see what I have in here. Um, and I can kind of rifle through and see, you know, what there is in there. So this one I've done as my skincare one. And I just thought I can pop that there and then I can literally just pull it out super, super easy. And now I'm gonna do the exact same, but with like a beauty one. Um, and then that should cover it really. I only have kind of two boxes of the products that are waiting to be tried. So yeah, and then I can go through that kind of periodically and, um, see what's in there and what I don't need and stuff like that. Hey guys, sorry I've been rubbish at vlogging this evening, um, but I had my nails done, as you can see. Um, and I um, just had some dinner and that's pretty much all I've done really and just sort of sat around. Um, and I'm in bed now in my clothes, I'm about to get changed, but I just got into bed quick, um, which was a really bad idea. Um, because I'm about to sit down and write my to-do list for tomorrow. So I was saying on Instagram how I feel like I am really sort of bad at time management um, and I'm just really bad at getting stuff done basically. Like I always feel like I've got so much to do and I never get through it all. So um, somebody recommended that, cause I said that I find to-do lists in general quite overwhelming. Um, so somebody recommended that I do a different kind of to-do list and I do like a urgent to-do list, like urgent must be done today and a important be useful if it was done today but it's not a big deal if not and then like a doesn't need to be done today just needs to be done at some point kind of to-do list so just like really break it down and i found that so helpful so i did that today um and i did oh hang on i haven't ticked off yet this is exciting so i did one two three okay three of six urgent things that need doing whoops <laughs> but in my defense one thing took freaking forever um so that is why i wasn't able to do anything else but it's fine it's no biggie um i can do one of those things quite quickly tomorrow actually i think i can even do it now i just need to do a um order for an ad that i'm working on so yeah i can do that now and then i did one 
two, three, four of the not so urgent things. So I've still got a few more that I haven't done, but that's mostly just getting back to a few emails and stuff. Now I am gonna sit here and write my Tuesday to-do list um, and then I'm gonna get ready for bed and everything like that. So Tuesday the 8th of September. So like I said, I'm gonna do the urgent to-do list. So the things that I'm gonna put on there for me to do tomorrow are, um, I need to edit my Lavish Alice video because I wanna get that up the next day for you guys tomorrow. So that has to be done. So that'll be what I kind of focus on tomorrow. Um, then I'm gonna fall, carry on some of my other bits over that I didn't do, so... Okay, so I've written my list, um, so I'm gonna get ready for bed now and go to bed and then I will chat to you guys tomorrow. So we have the painter and decorator coming tomorrow to um, decorate the bathroom. Um, so that would be fun, um, just to get it kind of finished and stuff. And yeah, I'll just chat to you as and when. I said I'd give you a little bathroom sneak peek, so I will do that. Um, it's also Sam's birthday next week, so I need to um, order some presents for him because I've not got anything yet and it's literally, yeah, a week away. <laughs> Stay, stay, okay, good boy, I'll bring your football, good boy, bring your football, hello, 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 <laughs> let me give you a cuddle then, let me give you a cuddle, good boy, good boy, who's a good boy, yeah, who's my good boy, ah, uh, uh, down, good boy. He's my good boy. Did you have a nice sleep? Did you have a nice sleep? Good morning guys, so excuse the state of me, I've literally just got up. Um, Rafi gave me a bit of a lie-in today, it's actually nearly 10. So that's nice, I've been doing work this morning in bed, but it was quite nice to have children in bed because normally Rafi's up at like 7.30ish, so <laughs> yeah. Um, hello baby, oh you're facing the wrong way. <laughs> so yeah, I need to order that. You're still sleepy, aren't you? Why are you so tired today? Why are you so tired? Raph's not been very well. Like, I'd say about two, three weeks ago, he was really poorly and had to go into hospital. Which, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know. But um, he is a lot better now, thank God. He just had a really, really severe form of gastroenteritis. But you're so much better now, aren't you? Why are you so sleepy? <laughs> um, so yeah, thankfully he's okay now. I was so worried about him because he was in hospital overnight and he was on a drip and stuff. Um, but he's much better. Um, he's literally falling asleep here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I need to get on with my jobs and stop cuddling my dog, even though he makes it very difficult. I literally get nothing done, and he is the reason why. Aren't you, baby? Why are you so sleepy? 
Look at those eyes, those sleepy eyes. Hmm? Need to get you your brekkie. You want your breakfast? So you know I thought Rafi was just being really cute then. I just found this in his mouth, which is some buttons from a jacket. He obviously went upstairs and got. I thought you were being cute, but you were just hiding the fact that you'd stolen them. You were pretending to be sleepy, weren't you? You little minx. You're not even sleepy at all. You were just hiding these, weren't you? You were hiding them. Were you hiding them? Were you? Yes, you were. <laughs> You're still so cute though. Ah, 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 ah. No biting, no biting, no biting. You <laughs> silly boy, silly boy. So it is quarter past five. I'm still here. <laughs> And so it's Rafi. Rafi, you need to stop being so needy. I gotta finish my work. <laughs> gotta finish my work. Otherwise, I can't buy you nice toys and stuff. Sorry, guys, I know today's vlog has been so boring, but yeah, I know, Raf. But it's literally all I've been doing all day. I've kind of finished, it's, it's kind of nearly done. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Um, so it is now half past six and thankfully Sam is cooking dinner downstairs. What a legend. Um, and I am just about to tidy up this and tidy my dressing room and everything. So I thought pop you on a time lapse, um, have a little tidy up and yeah, I'll come chat to you guys in a bit. dressing room office is mostly tidy um a few little bits and bobs but this is my favorite part of the day where i can look at my list and i can tick stuff off that i've done and then i'm gonna write my wednesday list and carry it on over to wednesday any stuff that i haven't done um so yeah right okay so first thing was edit my lavish alice collection video and upload it which i've done um Reply to the architect, reply to the wedding planner, um, other things with my manager. Um, okay. Tidy dressing room, yep. Okay, I've got quite a bit to carry through into tomorrow, but that's fine. I really do feel as though like I'm starting to like, just feel a little bit more organized. Um, and on top of things, I think there was a good like few months where I just felt so behind and like it was just kind of going on top and top and top of me and it was just getting too much. Um, but yeah, I do feel like I'm getting somewhere, which is a really, really nice feeling. I still have a lot like to do, but I definitely do feel like I'm getting somewhere. And I think me sitting down each night and writing out like my urgent and my important kind of to-do list has really, really helped that. Um, so yeah. Hey baby, how you doing? Sound of the falling 
snow The fireplace warming us The VHS movie box Your old broke down touring bus And not a single cloud in the sky little sneak bathroom peek still having our bathroom done and stuff which is why there's mess everywhere um but yeah here's a little sneak peek for you anyway i'm gonna get on with this now i hate putting the duvet cover on by myself but there you go Hi guys so it is like 10 a.m i think and i'm off into manchester to go shoot some outfits which is why everything looks so messy right now um but i thought i'd show you so um, it's something that me and Naomi have been doing kind of recently is just going into Manchester and shooting like three, four outfits at once. I never used to do this, but it's so much easier. Um, so I thought I'd show you. This is what I've prepared, this box here of stuff <laughs> to go and shoot with. So that'll just be in the boot of my car. Um, and then I have like all of my outfits on hangers here, one over here as well. So I probably won't vlog too much just because we're going to try and like bash them out really quickly, but I'll come chat to you guys after. So we finally finished shooting, it is now half past two, so we did it kind of all morning. I didn't vlog anything because we were just kind of trying to get it all done. Um, but we got loads of outfits and stuff, probably about seven outfits, so really happy with that. So I'm now wearing this cap from Nike, my grey hoodie, denim jacket, which is Topshop, the grey hoodie is and other stories, my Lululemon leggings, and then my New Balance trainers, um, which are so comfortable, I'm literally loving them. So we're going to head out now, um, just for a little walk with the dog and stuff, and... Yeah, I'll bring you with me. I wouldn't think twice. A pair of jeans and a dusty shirt. We didn't have a dime. No, you and me were poor as dirt. All we had was time. We have just finished at um, lunch. Raffi has got a seatbelt on, by the way. I don't know why he's not sitting down. Raff, sit down. Raff. He wants to stick his head out of the window. Um, but there's a new shop just opened up in the town. Um, and I just popped in there. It's like a Moroccan style shop. Look at him. Um, yeah, like I said, he has got a seatbelt on. Anyway, yeah, it's like a Moroccan style shop. Um, and hang on, let me just pop you there a sec. A little bit wonky. Okay, we're gonna have to just deal with me being wonky for a second. Um, and they're new, and so I thought support new businesses this is what it's called. It's called So Marrakesh. Um, yeah, I thought you know, support new businesses and all. So I bought a little kind of salad serving bowl, just thought it was really nice. And I love this kind of like Moroccan style decor and like crockery and stuff so do you like it it's nice isn't it it's all right it'd be nice with like some crisps in you know <laughs> yeah <really> nice. <laughs> crisps or uh wow this is good here you know good little ledge isn't it? yeah and sam's new car so yeah i bought that um and now we are heading home because it's an hour until yeah. Launch. It's an hour till launch. Um, oh. oh my god, Raph! <laughs> 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 Is that we loving it? Um, it's an hour till launch, so I want to get back and get prepared and stuff. We were actually going to go out for dinner to celebrate tonight, but I want to be like on my phone and like seeing everything come through and everything like that. So um, yeah, I think we might go tomorrow instead, which is like the kind of more official launch day. Um, but <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, it's been a really nice day actually. I've got a lot done work-wise and now had a nice little afternoon at lunch and we've got a little 
doggy bag to take home. Oh my god, I'm literally Come like crying at Raph. Look at him. He always comes out <laughs> with a little like blow dry, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, Raph, you love it. He literally loves putting his head out the window so much. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, it's like an hour to launch, which is really exciting. Oh. Um, Oh, oh Sam's about to crash the car. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'll chat to you guys when we get home, I think. So it is 6 p.m. and my Lavish Alice collection is live on the app, which is so exciting. I feel like, I don't know, like I don't know what to do. I'm like, do you know what I mean? Like, what do I do? Just like, wait and see if anybody buys anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exciting! <laughs> guys so currently for some reason there is loads of like road work going on outside our house so it's so noisy so I'm gonna come and actually chat to you properly but I just had to show you this so I'm just getting ready to film um, a ad with public desire here we go and oh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it there Rafi hang on let me put you here there we go so I'm just getting ready to film an ad with Public Desire and Rafi just will not let me do anything without him. Like he will just come and sit on my lap. Ready? Here we go. Yeah, I know Raps. Rafi, I need to work. <laughs> okay, Raf, off, 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 off please. Rafi. Rafi, I need to, Raf. <laughs> Raffi, are you going to wear these shoes? Are you going to wear these shoes? Off. Raffi, off. That's it, you sit there. Good boy, you sit and watch. Good boy, thank you. Thanks for the call. No, mummy's working. <laughs> guys so it is editing ruby jumping in here because i am so annoyed at myself i accidentally deleted the clip that should be in here i don't know how i did it but yeah i deleted it so we're moving on but it was basically me just talking about how the launch went on the lavish alice app so it was thursday morning so it's the day after the app launch and obviously um the actual launch was thursday night um so I was just basically saying how I could not believe the incredible support that I got from everybody and how I'm sorry I didn't vlog the kind of app launch night and what I was doing but I was actually just messaging people and seeing everybody's amazing comments and people were like sending me their order confirmations and everything like that so I just I was honestly blown away to be honest by how well the collection sold and how much you guys obviously loved it um i was quite nervous obviously about launching um an occasion wear collection in um sort of the current situation um i thought you know maybe there are people that you know wouldn't want to spend their money on that at the moment and I obviously know that a lot of people are um financially like not kind of where they normally are and stuff like that so i was quite nervous um but you guys loved it it sold so well um so many pieces are selling out um so it's just so so nice um to see like your guys love and support for it and i just wanted to say thank you so much honestly from the bottom of my heart um to all of you who bought something shared it commented liked whatever you did just for the support i just couldn't appreciate it enough um and obviously now i'm filming this sort of 
in the future. Um, I've had a lot of you message me since you received your items and telling me how much you absolutely adore them. Um, so that's so, so, so nice to hear. Um, and yeah, please do keep messaging me if you um, do get your pieces and stuff like that. Um, Lavish Alice have also launched my collection in Selfridges too in Trafford Centre. So if you live in Manchester and you're heading into the Trafford Centre, I'll pop a little picture on screen here. Um, I am up there, my big face is on the big screen <laughs> which is like mad um but yeah the collection did, did so so well and i'm so 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 over the moon grateful um for you guys and your support so yeah that was what the clip was saying essentially i'm so annoyed at myself for deleting it because it was much more you know real time but there we go um but yeah anyway and then Thursday night, which you're about to see, um, I went out to celebrate the collection um, wearing one of the pieces. Um, so you guys will see that in a little bit. But yeah, sorry I deleted the clip. Hope this isn't too kind of confusing. But yeah, anyway, hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. Thought I'd show you these beautiful flowers that my friend Maddie got me as well as this lovely card, which is really cute inside. Um, they've not bloomed out yet, but I know they're gonna be gorgeous. And then Sam bought me these last week when I announced the uh, Lavish Alice collab. Unfortunately, some of them are dead now, but bless him, they're so gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so cute. <laughs> I am just heading out to, I don't know why I've got this on already, I'm just heading out to the shops to pick up Sam's birthday present and to, I need to go get a key cut, I need to um, pop to the post office, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. This mask, by the way, actually, let's talk about it, it's from a brand called Plumo, or Plume, I don't know, I'll link it down below, but it's amazing in terms of, if you really struggle with masks on your face, um, just because if you feel like a little bit claustrophobic or you feel like you can't breathe, this is gorgeous. So it's it's quite expensive. I think it was around 20 pounds. So it is expensive, but let's be real, we're gonna be wearing these for a while now. <laughs> so um, it's made out of linen, which I think is why it's really nice and breathable. And um, the only downside, it's also got gorgeous colors. So I got this in a khaki. I've also got like a blue gray, there's loads of colors. So the only downside is it's white on the inside um, but it's not too bad because I wash it after every time I wear it anyway, so it's not the end of the world But yeah, I thought I would talk about them because they are expensive um, But I suppose a mask is a bit of an investment now because we're wearing them so often and stuff um, And I really struggled with um, other fabric masks because I felt like when I breathed Like I think it had a silky one and when I breathed it went like in my nose and so that made it like even harder for me to breathe so i was wearing the um disposable ones which obviously aren't good for the environment at all so really glad that i found these little babies but yeah i'll link them down below if anyone's interested but yeah anyway i'll be back in a bit so i'm back from the shops got some sushi for lunch because i've not had anything to eat today i've um, got salmon avocado rolls so i'm gonna eat this and then get on with some more work just got a flower delivery I think this might be from Lavish Alice, bless them. So I'm gonna open that up now. Look how gorgeous these flowers are. So we sent um, some flowers out to some of my like closest friends in the industry um, to celebrate the launch because obviously, obviously with coronavirus, we couldn't have like an, um, hang on, let me just tilt you up a bit. We couldn't have um, an event, which was sad, but it is what it is. So we sent some flowers out instead and some champagne and stuff. So the girls at Lavish have obviously sent me some as well, which is so lovely of them. So I'm going to pop these in a vase now. sent some of my closest friends in the industry a little bottle of champagne to celebrate because as I said we would normally be celebrating together um but we can't so yeah bless the love chance girls I didn't expect them to send it to me at all but um this is what we sent everyone it's like a little mini bottle of moe and there's a picture of the campaign on it I don't know if you can see that why is it not focusing come on there we go picture of the campaign on it which is so so cool um so yeah you can get these from selfridges if anyone's interested um they're so cool really nice little prezi if you can't be there to celebrate with someone so yeah so cute i'm gonna pop this tonight and have a drink before we go out for dinner it's actually also so nice that i kind of don't want to open it this vlog has turned into a little bit of like a unboxy kind of style vlog but i just got a 
parcel through from Cult Beauty with an order that I made um, a couple of days ago. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I get. So, first of all, the reason I did the order was for this palette. So this is the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette. And um, I used one of my friend's palette of this when we were going um, out for dinner. And I really, really liked it. So um, I thought I would order it. So those are the colors there. I used like this color, that color, that color and that color. Um, and I'd probably use that one on like an inner corner. Oh, I'll use that color as well actually, which looks quite yellow there, but it's not. Um, it's more like orangey. So yeah, I ordered that just for like evenings out and stuff. I actually will use it tonight and I can show you then. Um, and then, oh, I ordered a Hula Caramel um, because I have recently got back into Hula. Um, and I find the other Hula color, like the original, a little bit too kind of reddy brown. Um, whereas this is a much kind of, I don't know, true kind of bronze color. Um, so I thought I'd give that a go. And I also got the By Terry Tea to Tan. Is that focusing? Why is the focus going rubbish? There we go. The By Terry Tea to Tan Face and Body Spray. So I saw Elle Darby using this and a few other bloggers. And it just looked really good. Oh, just took the lid off. Um, it looked really good. Wow, that looks dark. You just give it a shake up and then you just spray it on your face uh, before you kind of do your base or maybe on top of your base. So no, I'm gonna have a little play around, but I just thought it was like a cool new product that I wanted to try out. Um, so we'll see how we get on. Um, it's huge, I actually so did not need one that big. Don't know why I ordered that big. There we go. Um, but yeah, so I can use them tonight. Little fun little makeup -y bits. But yeah, I only got those three three products and then Pop Beauty normally send some little samples out as well. Got a, what's that? I think that's a cleanser. Was it a moisturiser? Oh, it's a moisturiser. And then that is a body moisturiser. That'd be quite good to just like pop in your handbag. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's that. <laughs> so I am all ready to go to go out and celebrate tonight. Um, I wanted to kind of document like the getting ready process and everything, but I was so late because I was replying to like everybody's messages and stuff from today, uh, from the launch and stuff. So yeah, super late. Um, so unfortunately I couldn't document it. So, um, we just show, oh, you look nice. We just show my outfit really quick. You guys can maybe guess what I'm wearing. <laughs> um, thank you. So I have Is the light right? The suit on. Yeah. Just tilt the camera down a little bit. That's it. So I have the suit on. That's cool. Um, I like that. Looks really nice, doesn't it? It's so flattering, like round jaw. I didn't waist. see. It creates like a really nice, like hourglass. I didn't shape. see that on when I went to the shoot. Oh, do you want to pan down and show my the trousers? Sam can't see what he's doing right now. <laughs> so Is these are right? the trousers. A little bit more down. <laughs> these are the trousers. They're really flattering. They're like a really nice flare. And then I have some Public Desire heels on. Um, and yeah, that's my outfit. So yeah, I've just curled my hair and used the Color Wow um, hairspray. So yeah, that's just a boob shot, just up a bit. <laughs> yeah, so I've just curled my hair and used the Colour Wow hairspray. Um, but yeah, we better go because we're running really, really late, but I'm gonna bring you guys with me to celebrate. I wanted to crack open my champagne as well, but I think we'll have to do it when we get back because yeah, it's just too late. <laughs> Sam wanted to show you his outfit. What have you got, where's the shirt from? Coz. Everything's from Coz, as always. All Saints. You look cool, really cool. Do you like the boots or should I go? No, trainers? love it, we've got to go anyway, let's go. So we are en route to Menagerie now. Sorry, excuse the really horrible down lighting. Um, but yeah, we're really late, but I've rang them and let them know and it's fine. Um, I was honestly just replying to so many comments and like all of that, I just got carried away. Um, but yeah, we're going to Menagerie, so that's nice. Uh, we've literally only been there like once, so it'd be nice to do something a little bit different than go to sort of the same places that we always go to. Um, and I want to try and get a photo in my suit. Um, show you guys when we get there and the food and everything. Good morning guys. Um, so, sorry, every time I vlog there's mess. My life is mess, like I'm just not a tidy person. Um, but I didn't um, chat too much last night just because I don't know, I think I was just enjoying like being out. Sam and I hadn't been out for dinner and stuff in a really long time, so I was just really enjoying sort of being out and about. Um, 
and yeah we just had a really nice meal and stuff um so yeah i didn't chat to you last night but um the launch has gone incredibly i'm gonna stop talking about it because i don't want this vlog like to just be like overwhelmed by that but it's gone so so well like better than i could have expected or imagined um i'm just so chuffed um with how it's gone and yeah i'm just honestly so grateful to everyone who has purchased something or supported so thank you guys so 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 much um it's been amazing it's been like such a whirlwind like kind of 24 hours well 48 hours really um so yeah feels good feels good i'm so so happy and excited and yeah i'm just in a really good mood um but i wanted to come on and just kind of finish the vlog really because it's been a long old vlog um which is classic me i just can't do short vlogs i just can't do it um i might vlog the weekend coming and try and make that like a short vlog i don't know um but hopefully i can get this up for you guys soon um i am just getting ready now because i have some content to shoot um and then i'm gonna go for lunch with my friend to celebrate so that's nice um and then i'm gonna sign off work for the afternoon today so from like 2 p.m i'm gonna start working and just enjoy my weekend and have a chilled one um with hopefully a lion or two here or there um so yeah i want to say thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and again thank you for all of your support i honestly wouldn't be like where i am without you guys so i am forever grateful um but yeah thank you guys and i will see you in my next video please leave down below some ideas for um what videos you want to see me do i can like imagine there's gonna be quite a lot of fashion ones and i'm gonna get into that i really really want to get more into fashion again uh fashion hauls and uh styling videos and stuff i normally do like a workwear haul every or workwear lookbook every kind of new season but obviously at the moment i know that many people aren't going into work so i probably wasn't going to do that um but i don't know maybe like a transitional outfits lookbook would be quite cool let me know what you think but yeah anyway i'm gonna stop rambling on this vlog is probably at least an hour long so i'm very sorry and if you made it to the end go you um <laughs> thank you so much for listening to me talk crap for an hour pretty much <laughs> but anyway yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye